on down to Boom Teen Nightclub, the premier teen club in Metro Detroit. Can we party with you, Mr. Crew? I wish, because that is one cool club. But it's just for teens. Aww. Okay, Mr. Allen's, which we do, which is a Detroit clothing company. Allen has Buy Allen's Mania, arriving daily. Tens of thousands of pairs of Converse and Fila, 29 or two for 50. They had these commercials growing up. It was like a little cartoon that would say, Mr. Allen's. That was, that was one that's really great, so that's definitely up there. I would say uh, Melfar Superstar. The continuing adventures of Melfar Superstar. Fighting high prices to bring you a far better deal. Yes, I'm fighting high prices on used cars with my low monthly payment plan. Where Rick Mahorn played uh, a real Detroit, old Detroit Lion, Mel Farr, who had a car dealership. The other dealers can't sell you 80 Mustang for $119 a month, and they can't fly either. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it up just, just for, to keep it exciting. One I'm pretty obsessed with right now, which is not a Detroit one, is Salino and Barnes. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, 800-888-8888. I think they started in New York, somewhere upstate New York maybe. But they went national or they're in New York and L.A. And there are two lawyers named Salino and Barnes and they're incredibly, they don't, they're not comfortable on camera. It's lots of live like this. They got into a huge fight, and now they're broken up. And so it's the Barnes firm. The Barnes firm, injury attorneys, a one eight hundred And then I haven't seen what Salino's thing is yet, but it was a nasty breakup, real bad breakup. You should Google it and read some of the printouts from like the conversations where I think Barnes was like, "I'm the I'm the main guy here." Uh, if you know, no one calls it Davison, they call it Harley. I'm the Harley. You should do a deep dive. Me and Mike O'Brien from SNL and AP Bio are obsessed with it and constantly talk about writing fan fiction for it, about how this thing played out. They also, because I think they knew early on they weren't comfortable on camera, so they, uh, they would have like a spokesperson too. So a spokesperson would very calmly would be like, call, the, call Selena and Barnes. They would cut to them and be like, Ah, oh, Selena and Barnes. This is a, uh, probably a national ad, but it's local to me because it was Little Caesars, which Little Caesars is a Detroit company. And I, I, I'm having a hard time finding it on the internet, but it was, and maybe my memory's wrong on it because I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but it was a, a guy who worked at Little Caesars who folded boxes. And he'd be like, maybe it's a pterodactyl. What am I going to do with a box? Ever hear of origami? What's that? A pterodactyl. Oh, what? Yeah, but that one sticks in my brain. I remember seeing it as a kid and like thinking it was really funny. How about Lover's Lane? Do you know Lover's Lane? Come go with me to Lover's Lane, Lover's Lane. Probably regional, but definitely played in Detroit and had them, in, had them around Detroit. But it was like, it, it's a like an adult... Um, like sex shop, but a little more not on the nose as a sex shop. It's like a uh, lingerie and stuff like that. But they had a lot of commercials where there was like role playing in it. So it would start of like a uh, guy getting pulled over, a girl cop comes up, I think, or maybe it was the other way around. And they're like, you're under arrest. And they pulled out like fuzzy handcuffs or something. It's like, you always known that love could be so much more lover's lane. Now, it's a little more beautiful than that, but that was pretty good.